so we are going to create a sealed needle bearing in this video in solidworks so first of all verify the units your unit or must be in inches pound ips select it and go to sketch and we have to make a simple sketch on the front plane select front on our plane and now the view is normal to you if it's not go here on the view orientation and make it normal to you okay then go here and draw a circle so the center must be coincident with the origin like that and then again the second circle and the point must be coincident here if you cannot select this point just draw a circle randomly here then unselect this circle tool and go here on the add relation select this center point and this center point of the other circle and make them coincident and you can also add the Centric relation if you select the circumference of these two circles, these lines, and then add a concentric relation between them. Then go here, smart dimension, and define the dimension of this uh, bigger circle. It has the dimension of 1.5, and the smaller circle it has the diameter of 1. And then we needed to use the extrude to extrude this. So go here, exit this sketch, go to feature, and extrude these this sketch and for the direction expand this and select mid plane and here we have to define the depth it's 0 0.5 okay make sure you selected the mid plane for the direction one and press ok to make this solid body next we have to make a cut on this front face so go to sketch open the sketch on the front face on this face select this face to open the sketch here and then go to view orientation and make it normal to you and draw a circle it must be coincident with this origin and then define the dimension of this circle so the dimension of this circle is 1.25 like that now exit the sketch and then go to features and extruded cut and now define the depth of this extrusion the depth of this curve 0 0.04 okay and make sure the direction of cut must be inward inward to this material okay now we have a cut here then select this cut this extrude cut and go to mirror and we have to select the front plane for this mirror face and plane so this front plane so it must be mirror with the reference to this front plane on the other side and check mark so now we have make this cut now we are going to add the next feature we are going to use the revolve and select this right plane and open a sketch here so select this plane click on this plane left click and then sketch so it will open the sketch on the right plane and from the view orientation you can select the normal to you okay here we are going to make a rectangle so expand the types of rectangle and select the corner rectangle and draw a rectangle like that and now we can define the dimension of this rectangle so select the small dimension and this fits is 0 0.4 and we are going to add a relation so we can add the relation by expanding here delete and display and relation add a relation and then select this line and then this point of this origin and add a midpoint between them and the other way is that press the control on your keyboard select this line and this uh, origin and add a midpoint between them the relation of midpoint then go here and select the smart dimension tool and select this line and this line and add a dimension of 1.3 divided by 2 we are going to put a radius dimension here okay next go here to features you can exit this sketch go to features and here we we are going to use the revolve cut tool so revolve cut and it will ask the axis of revolution so select this this line to make this cut and like that so now we have this okay move to the next feature i am going to select this sketch open this sketch on this surface okay like that and make it normal to you and draw a circle like that so we are going to place a circle like that 
and now we needed to define some relations so first i am going to smart dimension this radius it's 0.155 and now we need we are going to define some relations so press control select this point uh, point of the cent uh, center of this circle and select this region and add a relation vertical between them then select this circle and select this circle and add a relation between them a tangent relation so now you can see this circle is fully defined exit this sketch go to feature and use the extrude and for the direction i am going to select up to surface and select this surface this inner surface till this position and check mark now we edit this one cylinder next select this cylinder and go here on to the linear pattern expand it and select circular pattern now we have to define the circular pattern for the direction we have to define the axis around which we are going to make this uh, pattern the circular pattern for the pattern axis select this surface and for the quantity of this it's 20 and press check mark now we added this slender 20 times and move to the next feature so simple expand this fillet and select the chamfer and we have to define the chamfer for this edge and this edge and here for the chamfer parameter select this depth value is 0 0.015 and the angle is 45 we are good so this is the design is done thank you so much for watching this video